tell by looking at you that you sound nauseating. Oh, great. Another critic. Ah, your outfit is so cute. I saw one just like it in the dumpster. Who writes your insults? The same hack that writes your songs? Hey, do you take requests? How about beat it? Look, D-Stick, I have a sold-out show to play tonight. So let's make this quick. Plasmius is so lame. Stealing one of my moves and mind-controlling me? I hate cover bands. Ooh, I'll show him. Meow. Whoa, is it supposed to sound like that? Meow. Ember. Clock dork. Fighting against someone else's powers of mind control instead of being the one in control. How strange that must feel. How dare you compare that mess Vlad calls mind control to what I do. Excuse me, I'm an artist. And I'm a champion of freedom. He's an agent of chaos. Get your back straight. And stop talking like you're like all knowing and stuff. You don't know everything. Least of all about me. Got it, clock dork? Believe what you want. But I've seen your past and future. You aren't all bad. your limits. If I was really trying, I would have won. I beat you. Now get off my stage. Or perhaps you have come to hear some music. Would you like me to play a tune on my mystic guitar? So it's a battle of the bands, is it? I'm ready. To my rear. I hate this part. You're fading away like all the other golden oldies. But me, I'm still the scariest thing there is! Boy, did I just hit the deck in the worst way! I told you, I banished my weakness and became all powerful! Whoa, I got no love that time. Can't believe I let that thing beat me! Did I stop me? Have you seen my army of skeletons? <laughs> Upstaged by an acoustic guitar? I can't believe it! Your power pales in comparison to mine! Well, if it isn't the Ghost Zone's favorite no-hit wonder, how does it feel that your music constantly makes people want to plug their ears? Can't feel any worse than losing to a ghost less than half your age on the regular. I mean, what a loser. Oh, Ember, how I've missed that fiery spirit of yours. Imagine if we joined forces and ruled the universe together. Ugh. How many times do I have to tell you I don't do duets? <laughs> Who's the lame old loser now, eh? Kneel before me. Or else your musical career isn't the only thing that's gonna be finished. Give it up, Plasmius. You talk big now, but I'm still gonna beat you. You're wasting your time, Ember. Just give up. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Ugh. Impossible. You, you can't defeat me. Get real, Plasmius. Seriously, you've got to be get bored with losing by now. Oh, but I haven't. 
get lost. How could that be when... I'm but a clone meant to distract you, and you fell for my siren song. In fact, that was just the first verse. Give up while you still can, or join the chorus. Oh, I guess an old ghost dog can learn new tricks. As if that would convince me to join him. Oh no! I'd better be kind and rewind. Hmm, my apologies. The explosion you just witnessed was the inevitable failure of Vlad's plan, and a sign of how dangerous his game really is. Vlad Plasmius is toying with powers he doesn't fully understand. If he continues down this path, I'm afraid the cataclysmic destruction of the entire universe is assured. This is bad. Why would Plasmius do this? He's gotta be stopped! He's gone power mad, Ember. Listen closely. You see, that ghost clone was a decoy. I confess I led you right to it. You'll need to face and defeat the real Vlad Plasmius to prevent the cataclysm. Seriously, Clock Dork? Ugh. That's as pathetic as Vlad copying my mind control moves. It was a test. As the master of time, I can observe what was, is, and will be, alongside its countless possibilities. I needed to know if I could trust you or not, but you passed my test, so it appears I can, for now. Oh, please. Why would I care what you think of me, clock dork? I just want things to go back to the way they were. Stubborn as ever. But if you truly want things to return to the way they were, you must find Vlad's lair and defeat him once and for all. Don't forget, this time he'll be the real deal. Much stronger than any clone. Make sure you are prepared before facing him. Back single, are you? Tell me, is it off your upcoming album, Constant Rejection? <laughs> Rejection? That's rich coming from you. You know, being a million years old and still single. All this pointless bickering. We could have put aside our differences and worked toward a magnificent common goal. We could have made an unstoppable team. Imagine the audience screaming our names, performing standing ovations upon our victories. Isn't that what you want? Alas, you're too selfish to share the limelight since you've embarked on your solo career. But once I beat you, I'll take the stage. It's hopeless. Can't you see that yet? Still, I have to admire your tenacity. No way, Plasmius. You'll never drop the curtain on me. Don't be too sure, Ember. You see, as much as I admire you, the show's over for you. No! 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 No more encores for you, Plasmius. So give up your latest ghost brain scheme and let us all go! <laughs> I've worked far too hard for it to end like this. Computer, initiate the overhaul protocol. Control every mind across the entire universe. Initiating startup sequence. Warning, to charge below safe levels. Activating the overhaul protocol will lead to core instability. Executive override! Proceed overhaul protocol! Proceeding. Core module levels critically damaged. Wait, what? How can this... No! This can't happen! Not again! If it weren't for you, this time, I was supposed to have fixed it! Weird. Even Plasmius looked confused just now. Ugh. Clock dork. You there? Help! Vlad 
Erasmus is our doom. There you have it. Vlad's failed plans have led to the destruction of the universe. As you just witnessed, his machine will malfunction, destroying everything, everywhere. You must stop Vlad Plasmius from activating the mind control failsafe procedure on his machine. I asked the scientist to invent a device to help you accomplish this. Talk to her before you depart. Good luck. Well, it took a little bit longer than expected, but I managed to finish the energy dampener that our host asked me to make. This little gizmo should disable the doomsday machine I've heard so much about. With it, you should be able to avert catastrophe and whatnot, I believe. All right, now I'm gonna rock Plasmius's world once and for all. Well, then the energy dampener was a fun little side project, but I must return to my slime research. I believe that I'm close to a breakthrough. Why do you insist on getting in my way, Ember? I bet you broke my machine with your awful singing. I have to end this. It ends with you at the bottom of the charts, Vlad. And it'll be all your fault, as usual. You don't know what you're talking about. I have to see it through. If I don't, we're all doomed. The only way to save everyone is for me to control everyone. Can't you understand? Oh, save it, Plasmius. I'm not falling for your usual song and dance. Besides, controlling people's minds is my thing, remember? Forget it. I won't let you stop me this time. Computer, initiate the overhaul protocol. Now! I said, initiate the overhaul protocol at once! Your machine's just a blown out speaker, Plasmius. You're finished, so give up. Me? Give up? Please. I probably just need to turn it off and then turn it back on again. Which I'll do after I take care of you once and for all! I know what I'm doing. This isn't my first time, Rodeo. I've planned this perfectly. I can't fail now! And I won't fail again because of you. I plan for that too by now. Give it a rest, Plasmius. Whatever it is you think you're doing, you've lost. How many times do I have to beat you before you stand back and let me do what I need to do? No, I, I cannot be defeated. It's not supposed to end this way. Wow, talk of messing up your power cord. Are you ready to send us home now or what, Plasmius? Send you home? You've doomed us all, Ember. Can't you see that? Wait, no. I was close. So close. I just need one more chance. Quit whining, Plasmius. Your time is up. No! Something is not right here. Clock dork. Vlad? I'm sure I beat Plasmius. But if I did, why am I back here? Look at what you've done. And we could have been partners. Partners in destroying the universe? I would have lost a lot of fans that way. You have some nerve even being here. Why would you want to save the universe? What has it ever done for you? At least I offered you a job. Besides, I'm trapped here, same as you. What are you talking about, Plasmius? I beat you, so Clock Dork's bound to send us home. Send us home? You know nothing, do you, Ember? 
how I, the greatest ghost in the universe, lost against a ghost like you is truly beyond me. But that doesn't matter anymore. You ruined my plans, but you're the ones who will pay the price. Soon you realize you made a big mistake by stopping me. Just you wait and see. <sighs> Gotta say, I never thought I'd see the day when the great Vlad Plasmius was reduced to something so pitiful. I would have paid for a VIP seat to watch that, but here I am, watching from the front row for free! Oh, and who are you but a wannabe singer whose adoring fans only adore her because they've been hypnotized? Pathetic. You don't know what you're talking about. Don't I? Deep inside, you're still that little girl yearning for the love of a mindless audience. If you think I'm pitiful. Don't push it, Vlad. I'm warning you. <laughs> Have I plucked a nerve? Oh my. Stop right there. What gives, Clock Dork? Did Plasmius do something to you? So, you think you have it figured out, do you? Why don't you think about it some more, just to make sure? But while you're figuring things out, let's have some fun, shall we? Uh, listen closely. There's not much time. Vlad's machine. I can fight its effects for brief moments, but the longer I remain outside the timeless star dial, the worse it gets. It won't be long until I lose myself completely. I need you to... Return to the timeless star dial and stay there until the end of your days. Your fate is sealed. Snap out of it! This isn't the real you talking clockwork. But that doesn't mean I won't do everything I can to get back home. The universe is doomed and there is nothing you can do about it. Give up and return to the timeless star dial. I won't say it again. Defy me and you'll start a fight you could never win. Oh, Clock Dork is trouble enough when he's himself. What do we do now? My time is nearly up. Soon, my mind will be completely overwhelmed. You must defeat me, just like you did with the others. If you weaken me enough to return to the timeless star dial, there may yet be hope. Whatever you do, do not listen to... anyone but me. Yet you still defy me. I warned you, now you'll get what you asked for. A fight. Which is perfectly fine with me. I'll still win, but from what I've seen, you'll be a worthy enough opponent. When you are ready to challenge me, come to my lair, if you dare. to free Clock Dork from whatever that machine did to his mind. And fast. You want to know a secret? Vlad's mind control device was flawed in two ways. One small, and one, well, very, very big. Here's the small one. It doesn't actually control minds, but simply replaces their personality with an angry, aggressive one. So it's not like he could build some conquering army or anything. In fact, he had no real control over whoever was affected by his machine. Take me, for example. 
I have no compulsion to serve Vlad Plasmius, and I've grown rather fond of smashing things and people and such. You've had a taste of that, so you know how wonderful that feeling is. It has to stop, Clockwork. The only way to get rid of the evil you is to head back to the timeless star dial. Come on! Nonsense. Not while we're in the middle of non-stop fun. You see, Vlad's machine had a flaw that caused it to blow up, destroying the entire universe. So much fun to watch, and I can simply rewind time and watch it over and over forever. And each time, just before it does, you'll be sent back to the timeless star dial so we can battle all over again. An endless battle right on the edge of total oblivion. Oh, how exciting. You're totally off your rocker. Think what you want, sticks and stones. Now it's time for battle. No more encores, clock dork. I don't want to fight. If you won't face me, I'll find someone who will. I have plenty of choices, you know. Enough! You have fought well, but not well enough. Hey, no fair! You can't be surprised. I am the bad guy after all. Let's continue. Are you ready? I'll never let you drop the curtain on me! You did it, I think. <laughs> yeah, we got you back, Clock Dork! Rockin'! Let's not celebrate until we're safely back at the Timeless Star Dial. Come. It's not often I express gratitude towards another being, but I really must thank you. My recent memories are patchy at best. The only time I was truly myself was when we spoke here at the Timeless Star Dial. But as soon as I wandered beyond this pocket dimension, the other me hijacked my mind. A result of being exposed to Vlad Plasmius's machine when I tried to disable it. It destroyed the universe, something my evil self came to enjoy witnessing time after time. Why didn't you fess up to begin with? Spill it! Let's just say that at the beginning of our journey, it might have been a little TMI. You succeeded anyway, as I'd foreseen. When I was myself, of course. Vlad's machine has been destroyed, and everyone has been freed of its influence and it won't destroy the universe either. All of this was thanks to you, and now you may return home. You petty girl. How is it easier for you to beat me rather than join me? That's your problem, Plasmius. Thinking I wouldn't pull the plug on the destruction of the universe. This is exactly why I sing solo. Oh, please. I would have been the one to save the day if you had kept defeating me before I could fix my machine. Oh, save it, Plasmius. I just don't see how you were out to save anyone but yourself. Admit it. I'm the better ghost after all. Keep fooling yourself. If it weren't for my machine malfunctioning, this would have ended very differently. Look, I built that machine to control minds, but even I didn't plan on blowing up the universe. Do you know how many ghosts that would have resulted in? Yikes. Here's the thing Clockwork didn't tell you. When I discovered that my device was going to blow up, I was going to try to fix it. 
but the evil clockwork sent you to stop me before I could. All because he liked watching things blow up! Wow, you just don't give up, do you, Plasmius? I'd say as clockwork yourself, but he won't remember. You see, clockwork tried to destroy my machine, but I managed to bathe him in mind control rays first. The machine blew up, destroying everything shortly thereafter. So, he caught me in an endless loop to watch it over and over again. But each time, I remembered what happened next. So I came up with a plan to fix the machine and stop him. And to stop everything from, you know, blowing up. But, master of time that he is, he saw through my plan and brought you in to stop me from being able to fix the machine. So you see, I'm actually the hero of this story, not you. And certainly not clockwork. Come on, Plasmius. Even if you tried to correct one little mistake, we both know you're still the bad guy here. Fine. Believe me or don't believe me, what do I care? But it's over and nothing's blown up. So who's to say I didn't save the day after all? Hmm. Perhaps I underestimated you. I'll allow that you may have had a part in saving the universe. Just give another thought to collaborating with me, won't you? Don't hold your breath, Vlad. You're too power hungry for me to ever trust you. You'd just end up leaving me to form a new band eventually anyway. Perhaps. One day, I'll be in control of pretty much everything and everyone, with or without you. Go ahead. Return to your pathetic singing career. Now leave me. I need to start working on busting out of here and embarking on a new evil scheme. I've got plenty of them up my sleeve. Oh, I can't wait to forget about you and this entire experience. Scheme all you want, Plasmius. It won't help you forget that I beat you. You will remember my name. It's Ember, and I'll take you on anytime. I'll show you once and for all, Ember, which of us is the ultimate ghost. This can't be. How could I lose? Especially to you, Ember! You get it, Plasmius? The ghosts are gonna join my fan club now! You disappoint me, Ember. Thought you were stronger than this. Show me a fair fight and I'll show you real strength, Plasmius! I'm surprised to see you here, Ember. Have you come simply to prove how powerful you are? Or could this mean you're testing yourself in order to better yourself? No more! You're very powerful indeed, Ember. What will you do with that power, I wonder? Don't worry about me, Clock Dork. I won, you lost. And that's all that matters. You should have taken more time to get ready to face me. Can't believe I let Clock Dork beat me! 